Hi everybody, I am going to be playing Simutrans again today. Um, so today I want to talk about um, building a through running train service um, through our biggest city right here. Um, I'm going to be kind of showing you how I'm going to set that up. So here, let's, here's our map of on the lines only represent passenger service right now. There's also freight and mail, but right now it's set to only passenger, show networks, passengers. So what we're going to be doing is right here, you can see we have like a little hub um, in the center with our main city that we're focusing on. And in the north, there's another large city and urban region that we're going to be, you know, hopefully expanding to in the future whenever I have time. Um, sorry. Sorry if I'm saying um so much. But right, so we are going to be connecting this large urban area up here with the set with the city center and then onward to another large urban area in the south, this large city down here. So right now we do have passenger service to um, the city center, of course. And that's where it terminates. But what we want to do is make a service that runs straight through. So someone in one of these large urban areas um, in the north can take the train all the way to the south without having to change and wait for a new train um, in the central station. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, since it's semi-trans, we're going to try to make this you know as simple as possible and keep the bugs to a minimum. And to do that, I think the best way to do it is to just cancel the whole service um, there's two services we're going to be canceling and replacing with one, so let's just cancel both services right now. It's annoying how whenever you open the map it doesn't stay on passengers. Okay, passengers. Okay, so the first service is line 24 that has six trains, and you can also just show route on map and it'll show you where it goes. Okay, so yep, that's the one we want to cancel. We're going to be replacing it. Um, it's good replacing it um, anyways, the trains that I'm using on this line are kind of old. They were, this was one of the first like major um, lines that I built when I started this game. Um, so let's just hit withdraw all. And withdraw all means that the train will continue running until all the passengers are gone. So it's just going to drop off all the extra passengers. Um, you'll make a little extra money, of course. That's, and it's better compared to just going to details, maintenance, and selling it now. But that's something that you have to do sometimes in Simitrans if, in case there's like a bug or some sort of glitch. Okay, so I really did not want this video to be to go super long, so let's try and stay to the point. Okay, so now we will withdraw all service on this other line. So it only has one one line serving a station. Okay, these trains are also a little bit older, so it'll be good that we can replace them. Right now, it's the year 1894, and so electric trains are just beginning to be um, kind of invented in the game. So there are some very basic electric trains, but we're not going to use them for this line. We're still going to use the old-fashioned steam trains, which have you know, plenty of power. They don't start and stop fast. Like it takes them a while to get to their maximum running speed or kind of get up to speed. Um, but they are they are pretty fast. And the electric trains are not fast right now. They're only up to like 60 or 70 kilometers per hour. But the trains can go a bit faster. Okay. So I guess both services are in the process of withdrawing their train. So you should see this train right here. It's going to reach the terminal, and then it's going to disappear. So it dropped off the last of its people, and then it just gets sold automatically. It doesn't have to go to the depot. It just gets automatically sold. And so we can, um, let's make sure we save. We're going to be doing a lot of saving um, when we play semi-trans. It's just, you know, good practice because the game... Um, has been crashing a lot lately, especially when it comes to like se um, sending the vehicles to the depot. I've noticed there's been quite a few bugs regarding that. Um, 
But as long as we save a lot, we will be fine. We'll keep the frustration to a minimum. Okay, so now let's take a look at our at the central station at Morburn Piccadilly Railway Station. So we just want to make sure we know like which tracks are the new service we want to build is going to be running on. So we know it's coming in on this track right here. It's going to stop at the Trinity College Station. It's going on to the P Piccadilly um, Central Station. And then maybe it'll hit this one, Morburn Victoria Railway Station. And so we want the tracks, we want the trains to come off this viaduct and onto the other main line. But that, and that's pretty simple to do. So one thing that I like have started doing in Simutrans is just pausing the game while I build. And that um, is really helpful actually. And you can do like a ton of things um, when you're paused. You can just build like a whole line and have it up and running before um, you hit play again. So that's kind of unrealistic, but it's, uh, it does make playing a, a bit easier. Um, okay, so the train's gonna do, 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 okay. So see, we, we're using the bite up tool and we keep it on level zero. And that means that we can just build off of this existing level. So if we wanted to make a diagonal track like that, we could do that. If we wanted to just go straight out like that, we could do that. But we're only using it to, um, make a little just connection point. So two um, slopes to get up onto the viaduct. Okay, oh wait, aha. Uh -huh. We have to have the viaduct come out a little bit and then you'll have to delete this and pay for, pay for it again. But there, now the, let me get rid of that signal. There. That is, that looks pretty good. And we can even make it a little, we can even make the transition a little bit smoother by having the track come out like this. And then if we wanted to make it even better, we would build another um, track right there, but that's a, something we can do in the future. Okay, so we have that side, and then we have that side. We could also make a fourth track here. Let's just do it, why not? It's really simple. And see, we have all this capacity feeding into like these single um, line sections, but that's okay. Um, the trains are delayed a bit, but in when they're, they're doing a lot of waiting at these uh, single track sections, but that's okay. I'm trying a new strategy where I make longer trains with you know, more capacity that um, have a lower frequency of arrival, maybe like one hour compared to what I usually like to do is like half an hour, 30 minutes, but I'm making all my trains about one hour. That way we can have these single section track of track. Okay, so that's pretty much everything I needed to do. So now we can just build a new train. Um, let's... What's even better is if we just build a new depot here. That'll really, you know, make things, keep things less complicated. Okay, so we'll build a little section right there. Steam depot. There's our signal box, which we need to click on to use the signal. Okay. All right, now we need to make sure we kind of know how much the what the maximum you know weight of the train can be. So I think the lowest um, weight limit is about 16 tons. So that's what I'm seeing over here. So I'm just gonna, I think 16 tons is fine. That's, that's kind of low for this um, stage of the game. Right now the track can be up to like 20 tons. So 16 is fine. And I, there's a really good train in here that weighs only 14 tons. This one, I use this one all the time. It's so great that there's such a variety of train engines um, it's a shame that, you know, I never really use all of them. I only use the one that I think is the best. It'd be interesting to have more of an incentive to like choose the other, um, locomotives, you know, kind of based on their, I don't know. This one has all the highest stats, so I don't know what else they could really be based on. That would, you know, give me a reason to use them, but whatever. Okay. So let's, let's start our new train by, um, 
let's use a mail car. I think that's a good way to start. And we'll just pick this kind of normal one. I don't think I'm the best person at you know creating these train convoys, uh, but it is kind of fun. Okay, um, I like this train and I like this um, passenger wagon style. Um, use this one. It's good to have a higher. Um, uh, I'm sorry if I'm not talking very well today. It's it's better to have like a higher uh, comfort rating. So you, if you see like I'm hovering over this and if I can't really use the mouse to point down. Um, but on the right hand side, um, it says 70 passengers, low comfort, an hour, 44 minutes. So that means like people will be comfortable for an hour and 44 minutes. So I think I'm not sure how long the train journey will take, but I think an hour and 44 is pretty good. So um, that's for a low um, comfort rating in them. We also want to get some at least one more class like so this one this car has 36 seats for high comfort rating first class passengers so let's get two of those and it's kind of annoying how everything kind of moves around when you click on it okay so right now our train is three tiles long i think the maximum it can be is four one two three four so the we're not doing great Okay. No, we can get we can get three cars, three passenger cars in. Good. Okay. So now we have a train that can carry three hundred, um, whatever third class passengers, seventy two first class passengers. That's pretty good because you want to get that. Um, you want to get the first class passengers because they they do pay a lot and they are there are a lot of them. You'd be surprised once you get a good service running. First class passengers will will you'll not find a shortage of them. Okay, so we're going to start building our way out, or um, designating our route. So we start with one, this is going to be the terminal, then two, the central station in the city, three, this out of the center station, the last station in that city. Okay, and we'll kind of just follow the, the route. We're going to stop, we're going to make the train stop at basically every station, I think. I've been spacing my stations out a bit more as well. I'm trying to maybe do like um, two kilometers between stations in the city. Okay. Okay, now we're in the central city of Moburn. The center of our network okay and we don't need to really do anything here we just just keep clicking so it looks like the central station is going to be stop 14 okay it's going to come down here it's going to stop at the harbor Okay, um, I think I know where I'm going. Okay, it comes around here. Goes to that station. Okay, comes around here. It's quite the going to be quite the train journey. It'll be really interesting to see it in action. Okay. And then here's the, the terminal right here. Okay, and based on the orders um, schedule, it looks like the final station is, so the one leg of the journey, one length of the entire journey is 175 kilometers, or 157 kilometers, sorry. Okay. Now, okay, so we got to the end, okay, but now we need to go back. We need to make sure we're um, clicking on the right side. So make sure, I should have mentioned this earlier, but make sure you know which side of the station you are clicking is the right one because you can have the signal set up however you want. There's not like a universal rule that it has to be like this, like, you know, driving on the left-hand side, driving on the right-hand side. You can arrange it however you want, um, which can be very useful, but if you're not careful, it could mess things up quite a bit. Okay, so we'll hit there, there. Hmm. This is gonna be 
I think there's going to be a lot of pass passengers riding this train. Um, so maybe we will make the frequency a little bit more than 40 minutes, but let's just see how it works at first. I have a feeling there's going to be a capacity issue. Because what I like to do is I like to lower the price of the train or yeah, of the service to very low, um, which, you know, obviously you get like a ton of passengers and I think that makes more money than just doing low. Even if there's like a huge capacity problem and there's just like too many people trying to use your service, I think um, that's better than just using, than just charging a low fare, you know. Okay, look, that's stop four. Stop, stop four on the on the down route, um, and then stop fifty on the up route. Oh no, wait, that's not right. Don't go that way. Or ah, sorry. Okay, and here's the end. Two, and you don't have to put a click again because it's already the beginning. So once it gets down to fifty or 52, then it just starts right up at the top at number one. So you don't have to click number the station for number one again. All right, so that's pretty much it. Okay, so then we promote to line. Okay, and now, so here's the first, here's the first terminal. And so we will do wait for time. And let's just start it at 50 minutes. Okay, and then we need to find the other terminal. And so there's 52 stations, so it should be like, 26 or something. 27. Stop 27. Okay, so that's the other terminal. So then we also want to do wait for time. Um, and that just means that a train will leave here every hour. So you want to have like two, maybe three, you know, kind of reserve slots. And then the trains will just arrive and they'll stack up. And then every hour, one of them will leave. But the reason you want to have many multiple platforms is so the passengers on the train that are coming in, they don't have to wait for another train to depart. They can always have a free platform to um, depart from. Okay. That looks good. Okay, so it's going to be called 90, um, line 94 for now. Maybe let's change it to something cool. So let's just call it north-south line. We'll go back to, we'll make sure it's starting from stop one. All right, let's save. Okay, copy, maybe, well, maybe we'll be using like 20 trains or so. We'll just, we'll see. It's easy to take them out of service. Okay, they're all gonna go to stop one, okay. Saving again. Um, let's change the price to, to very low and we'll keep, hmm, maybe we should change the, um, no, we'll see, let's wait and see. Um, the high, the first class seats, I do have 72 of them per train, which I think is a lot. Um, so maybe we will lower that to a medium level or medium uh, price to um, kind of fill up the cars, because I don't know if the, the high price will you know be able to fill up it, such a large carriage. Okay, so enough talking, let's follow our train. Okay, so this is the first train, it's loading up, waiting for schedule, it's gonna leave in 15 minutes. Save again, just because we worked so hard on this. We can click follow me. We'll kind of just follow the train as it, you know, goes along the route, picks up people. We can see the, you know, how many people are on board. So right now there's 25 high um, first class passengers and 129 very low class passengers. I don't like saying very low class. It's kind of, kind of snobby, um, but that's just, I don't know, a better way. 
what, what would you call it, steerage, that's what they called it on the Titanic. That's what that's kind of what I'm picturing these trains are like, because this is like 1894. No, there's no AC, no AC class. Okay, so train's off. All right. So right now it's a little bit over capacity. Um, that's kind of, that should be expected because this is the first train running on this line. Um, so it's going to be picking up all the other passengers that um, were missing the normal um, route that was scheduled, the old route. They're still waiting there. Okay. And so, okay, so now we've reached maximum capacity, which is 150%. So 100 people are seated and 50, sorry, 100% of the people are sitting. 100% of the seats are filled and then 50% of 450 are standing. So that's a lot of people. But it is very cheap to get around, so, you know. And so we have a lot of these single sections where we have to wait for another train, but hopefully that doesn't happen too much. I'm sure later we'll, you know, have some incentive to double track most of this line. All right, so just pulled into the to our central station in our network. Now it's leaving again, still over capacity, which is expected. That's kind of good. Means there's high demand. Ooh, the mail car is full. That's good. Each train, each of these trains has a mail car, so I'm trying to really, you know, play with the mail system um, in this version, in this round of Simutrans. I think the mail is a very interesting aspect, and also it helps your towns to grow, I guess. And uh, as you can see, a lot of these, um, I have a lot of um, single line stations, which is not uh, great, but um, I, I'm, what I'm trying to do in this version, I'm trying to um, preserve as much of the original town as possible. So I usually just like um, delete like a road to make the station and I want to kind of minimize um, the, uh, the um, demolishing the town's buildings to extend my stations and lines. So that's why I have a lot of these like single line sections through the downtown. So it is going to make double tracking the line at, at some point in the future a bit complicated. Um, yeah. Let's check in on our train. So it's kind of cruising along. It, you know, it's not it's not accelerating super fast. The engine's powerful, but it's but it's carrying a lot of people. Actually, up here, this green bar is um, filled, um, and that indicates the weight. So it's about at its maximum weight. So, yeah, the trains be going a little slow. Okay, so it's here. It's coming in to the other terminal. Yay, completed a full um, one half of the circuit, at least. So great, so no problems, no errors, no train is stuck. Thingy's coming up, so that is excellent. It's going to be really fun later in the game when we have more powerful electric units. Um, it has this, this version of Simutrans has all of the, you know, kind of notable British electric or British um, trains of any kind. So, so it has a, the steam trains, of course, and, it has a, and then so it can also have all of the notable uh, British electric um, trains, like the, the Javelin and the, and I'm not actually too familiar, too familiar with all of them, but like the Avela, um, all those cool Bombardier trains, this... This game has those in the, in the game. 
And so those are obviously a lot more powerful than this train, so they can accelerate much faster. They have a higher maximum speed, of course, and they can take the, some of the trains can take the corners better. So that's something I'm really looking forward to playing with. But when I'm, you know, I'm not going to skip ahead. I'm just going to play the game, you know, in a linear uh, order. I'm going to speed it up a bit. But that's one thing I like to do with semi-trans is I try to play the whole game. I don't want to just start and just kind of bounce around. Maybe I should look into flattening this section of track. Hmm. Um, that's something we can do later. I don't know if you want to see that right now. Okay, so let's see. I hope there's not an issue. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's an issue. Okay, let's see. What's the problem? Okay. So when you have... So obviously these trains are stuck for no reason. Um, okay, there's our new servant. No, that's another train. Um... <laughs> Okay, so none of those are east-west or north-south trains. These are all our other lines. Okay, so it looks like there's a train stuck at 26. So where's it trying to go? Maybe we need to... This sometimes helps is when you put the one-way signs. I don't know if this section of track was missing any one-way signs. But sometimes, like this train, I think I think that's the problem, is this train is waiting for this train to come out of the um, main station terminal. So let's just have it click signal then. Okay. And so it just needed some, that train just needed some clearing up on which sections of track it's allowed to use. So we put in some one-way some one -way signs, and okay, I figured it out. I really need to take care of this, you know, stub end, um, Right now, there's two terminal or two lines using this main station as a terminal, so they you can see they're taking turns. Um, and then some trains do also use this other section of track to deliver cargo to the marketplace. So that's uh, what this train right here is doing. This train has 120 cases of fish on board, so that sounds good. Nice, you know, fresh off the train, the fish. Okay, uh, so we got a bit distracted, so let's see. North-south line, let's check in on how the train is doing. I don't know, I think this might, yeah, this is the first one. I think. Yeah, so we were able to get past that congestion back there. This is right where they're going. Oh, it's having made up to the station. Let's see. Okay, so let's see how the. Oh, okay. So up here we have we still have our north and south line trains being released slowly. So what so what we want to have is um, we want to have our first train that we released. This one this should be the first one. We want to have it arrive at the other terminal about when the last train is being released. And if there's still extra trains waiting to be released when this train arrives at the north terminal, then we want to sell and or delete those extra trains that we have waiting to be released. Because that means that we have then we have enough trains on the on the route. And we want to have we want to have two trains waiting on at each terminal and then we also want to have, you know, the trains arriving um, or departing hourly, and so the whole line will be filled with hourly scheduled trains. Okay. Like... Yeah, this this section of um, the track into the city is not great. Okay, so let's see where are we at. Where are we at? Okay. I originally wanted this video to just be like 20 minutes, but it's probably going to be like an hour. No, no thanks to my like, I don't know, inability to 
stay focused on a single aspect and kind of follow through with it. Um, okay. This is our first train. Wait. The first train should be the one at the very top of the list. That should have been the first train. Okay, so that's 362. Um, where are we right now? I don't think that's the first train. Let's check on the... Okay. No, that's... This is the Moo Liner. This is the Milk the milk Train. The Moo Liner. Pretty good name. Okay, so that train stuck. Looks like the north-south. Okay, so there's that. I think this is the first train of the north-south line. Okay, sorry, everybody. And it still hasn't arrived um, at the other terminal yet. So that's interesting. It's taking a long time. I don't know. I guess we'll just watch it. I don't know if you want to hear me just rambling about other things. We can always speed it up, I guess. So let's hit the one of the the less than sign next to the question mark on the keyboard and that'll speed up the game. Okay, so let's see. Wow, so maybe, so see, there's no more trains waiting to depart, and another train, this train is just, you know, it's going to begin its uh, first trip. So that's, so we made, we guessed about, you know, right, you know, 20 trains. How many more do we have in here? Okay, so 18 trains, okay. So see, that's, that's pretty smooth. That's what we want to have happen. Ideally, we want to have one space always free and then one train waiting. One space free when another train arrives. So sometimes we can have two trains waiting. Um, but when another train is going to, going to arrive, one train needs to be gone. Okay, so I don't think that's going to happen again. So maybe we want to um, take away one train from this line. But also, the line is so long that you know, delays along the entire length can add up. And so maybe we should, well, maybe what we should do is we should just add another track to the station because we can certainly afford to do so. So another, need another signal and then there. And then, um, so then another train can show up and park there. And that way, if a train, if one of the other trains on the line is like missing um, its schedule, um, it's being delayed a lot, then um, it will have, there will still be a guarantee that um, a, pa a train will leave from this terminal, you know, on time, even if another train on the line is delayed. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, don't, don't say anything. I know it doesn't make sense. Um, actually, I haven't talked a lot recently. I am in Thailand right now, and I've just kind of been keeping keeping cool, laying low. Um, have not really talked a bunch, so sorry if I sound weird. Okay, so uh, okay, but now we have now if we add another track, it's gonna be four trains waiting. So let's do something cool. Let's save the game. And then, then we will just send this train to the depot. Okay. And I saved a lot because sometimes when you send them to the depot, like I was saying earlier, you'll get like an error message and the game will crash. Um, sorry to any developers who are watching. I have not saved any of the crash reports. Sorry. Okay. Well, we did it. I don't know what else you guys want to see. Um, let's... Take a look at the stats. Okay, north-south line. So these are all the trains that are running. If they're whited out, that means they're in the depot. Um, if they have a little bit, of, if they have a green um, bar status, that means that 
that indicates how many people are on the train. So this train right here, 90, number 95, it has close to full capacity on the, on the train. Everything else looks pretty good. Definitely filling up those seats. Um, yeah, if we take a look at the high class, the first class capacity, that's kind of low. Um, this one's high. Hmm. But I, so I think if we change it from a high price to a medium price, we'll be able to fill it up um, while still making you know a bunch of money. Okay. Then we can also look at network diagram. This kind of just shows, um, you know, the route, um, the line. So here um, it shows this is this this is the beginning. And then like somewhere around here is the middle or, or the end. And then over here is back to the beginning. Um, and then, of course, these little indicators. So if it's a, just a blue box, then it, the station has no connections. If it has a white box and it has a connection, it'll show us what the connection is. So like this station here, Station 9, Bathcombe Village, it has a bunch of streetcar lines and then, you know, other trains running on it. Um, our main station, let's find where that is. Man Morburn, this one, 40. So... Right, so there's a bunch of other lines that connect to it. One of the cool, um, one of the notable lines is the Moborn Metro. Let's just talk about that, I guess. It looks like I can't click on it yet to open it. That's fine. Moborn Metro. So this is. Sorry. This right here is the Moborn Metro. And I wonder, I, why does it only show one vehicle on the line? This makes sense. But that is um, a metro service serving the main city of Moborn, which is the center of our network and kind of the center of the region, which is why I chose it, why I chose it to be the focus point of the network. Um, and yeah, and it has like a little, it has a little metro network on it. The trains come every 10 minutes. Um, they're very low priced. They're slow, I think. These are like the first subway um, cars, the first metro cars ever, you know, built kind of, which was in England on like the, hmm, I don't want to get it wrong, but I know that the first metro, the first subway train was maybe, maybe it wasn't in, in, in London, maybe it was in, Birmingham or something or Manchester. Hmm. So I'm not sure where, like what city these uh, metro trains are from, but I think these are based off the very first British metro trains. Um, and yeah, so they only travel at about 40 kilometers an hour, but they're very, they're nice. You can build a tunnel um, for, you know, not that much. They appear in like 1890, I think. So underground mode, shift U. So we have um, the metro, we have a couple stations underground in the center. Um, then here there's another, there's like another very small capacity railway station with just one terminal line. Um, yeah, and the metro trains just kind of just go over, just, that's all we need is just one line, I think. I don't think there's really enough, um, demand for another one, I think. I'm not sure where it would go. Um, but yeah, it's pretty simple. Um, it connects to the main line up here of this cool little viaduct station I built. Yeah, and it kind of just goes all around. I don't know. If there's some other aspect of this map you want to see, um, let me know. I don't think I really need to cover anything else. So thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.